All right. Live stream should be up. Hopefully you can hear me over the noise of the music and all that. So I've been doing the Dungeons and Dragons uh, Beck Me builds for a while. Uh, uh, I've been testing them out. I've got uh, a thief, got a got an elf, got a wizard, not wizard, magic user. Um, I feel like my cleric that I built, I've been using that, and actually that's my main character, and it is awesome. Um, no, it's not supposed to to uh, solo anything. It's not. It's it's meant to be part of a team. Like when you when you played the original Dungeons and Dragons, you got together with your group. You all went as a as a team. The cleric was, you know, the uh, the support class of the group. So that's basically what my main character for this game is. So we're gonna go ahead and build an elf. So how do you build a basic elf? Like a basic D&D &D elf? Um, there's a lot of differences between the elves that you know today and the elves that were back then. Um, so I'm gonna start with the prime requisite. I'm also going to use, I know this is gonna be weird, but I'm going to use a spell caster. So that's because the elves special abilities um, are dark vision. Also, they have the ability to cast any spell that a, that a magic user can cast. Um, in fact, I'm going to pull up, just to make sure that I do this accurately, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my digital copy of the rule book, just to make sure that I'm following the rules as closely as I can. So yeah, so elves can use magic user spells just as magic users can. So we're gonna go with spell. Now, I've tried creating magic user. I'm not, my hang up with that is that I don't know if a sorcerer or wizard is best. I've gone with both. I've, I'm still not sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and use wizard for this build. I have an elf with the wizard spells and I feel that that works for that build. So I'm gonna go ahead and select wizard. Customize, elf. Now, I don't use, I don't use the wood elf. They're less inclined toward higher learning, so they have lower intelligence, so that's not gonna work. Intelligence is the prime, is one of the prime requisites of an elf. So it's gonna be, they have two prime requisites. They have strength and intelligence. So that's why we're going to go with this elf. The, I don't even know how to pronounce that, Corvair elf, I guess. Maybe I might have butchered that. Once we have that decided, what I've done is I've gone ahead and maximized the strength and the intelligence. Because, I mean, that's basically what I need. Um, I'm considering Constitution does affect hit points, but there's nothing I can do to get it into. Well, what I can do is sacrifice some of the intelligence, or at least not negative anything. going to go with this max strength because well actually you know what the elf isn't really going to make you know what I think for this build the elf doesn't really need strength more more dexterity if I'm perfectly honest. Because if I go look at the elves, the weapons the elves can use, they can use any weapon. So if I make this a ranged attack elf, like bows or crossbows, 
it's probably going to be a better idea. So we don't really need high, the highest strength, but we do need good dexterity for that type of gameplay. Constitution is at least not negative. Intelligence is plus two. That's good. I wish it were better, but hey, that's that'll work. Wisdom doesn't really affect the elf. Charisma, yeah, it'd be nice if it was higher, but again, I'm going to need these stats, so not much else I can do. So if you're a free-to-play player, this is a good Beck Me Elf build. Now, keep in mind, you're going to want to play with friends. This elf is not going to be good soloing anything. You want to go with a good team. You want to have another group of people play with you. So this is this is what you're... So this, is, this is a good... I think this is going to be good. This is a live test of the build, though. So we're going to test this out live. If that works out for us, then hey, we're, we're set. Repair. I really hate to put anything in repair because I never use a Warforged ever. Um, you know what? I, I'm just not going to. That is... Oh yeah, unfortunately, jump needs to be have something put in there. That's about. So since you should be playing with other people, you don't need search spot because you should have a rogue with you or not a rogue and this in this version it's a thief that's about it there's not much else guess repair I guess if you're gonna go with a warforged why not you know but this is all experimental anyway this is a this is a good test build we'll, we'll go with that see how this all works out not for the feats Here's the thing. We want, like I said, when I when I built this, I wanted high dexterity. So I'm going to go for everything that's going to make using either crossbows or just, you know, long short bows as awesome as they can be. So I'm going to go with let's go with uh do I want to use light crossbow or not? Um point blank shot definitely. Since this is going to be ranged. Class feet. I want to make sure nothing's repeated. Do we already have point blank? I don't think so. No. We can go with Empower Spell. Because I think if I get into a bind, I think Empower Spell is probably going to be my best choice. Here I am second guessing myself, but but it's a test build, so I'm not really gonna worry about it. Let's just let's get through. Here's the biggest issue that I have. So all these spells are awesome. They're all great, but I can't use them all. Um it's just I I can't. Um not in the basic version. So I'm going to go back to the page. So the spells that I should have at my disposal normally are going to be one spell. So you've got read magic if you're a magic user. So you can read your spell book. And then you've got 
your spell, your whether that be magic missile or sleep or whatever it is. Uh, I'm gonna go. I have to choose more than that. I have to choose five spells. Uh, so I'm gonna choose shield, sleep. Magic Missile. Protection from Evil, if I can find that, I think that was down here. And these are all magic user spells out of the out of the Beckme book. We've run out of those spells now. So now we so now I um, I think what might help me out, though, is detect secret doors. Just one second. So that those are my spells. Okay, so now we're almost done. Um, I don't know. Let's just do randomize, I guess. It's a test build anyway. Oh wow. Uh, hmm. That's it's okay. Maybe change the hair color. Maybe the eye color, perhaps. Whatever, I guess that's good enough. You find yourself waking Can on you the shore talk? of Flotsam. Speak to me! Memories of a large white dragon striking your ship come flooding back. So I can't use any of these weapons they're giving me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go with the wand, I guess, because I don't know what else to do. Stepping out of the grotto, you find yourself in Korthos village. The Sahuagin have threatened this place for generations. Judging from how it looks now, the Sahuagin are winning. However, some hopeful souls still hold out for help to arrive. And I'm going into keeping the Borderlands because that's the easiest place for me to actually obtain items. Whether they be armor or weapons or whatever, I've found that keeping the Borderlands has the weapons. Just go right out and, well, yeah, I don't have any money, so, well, do I? No, didn't think so.
So, unfortunately, them not allowing me to have a good weapon is uh, going to hinder the progress. I think I might know where to get myself some money. But we'll see how well that works out. If I do get the money, I don't know if it'll be enough. Okay, do any of these barrels have money? A small fisherman's shack stands deserted on the riverbank. Mm, yeah, well. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Fine. Okay, that that's uh... There's another place where I might be able to obtain some coinage. Can I get there? What, are you immune to this or something? Oh, well, what do you know? I'm learning something every day. They're completely immune to this. Wow. That's not good at all. I know exactly where I could go. Let me see if I can get far enough away from the bad guys. Hopefully I can recall. I know right where to go. Take care of this before we go anywhere else. Bam. Okay. Nine hit points. I'm feeling lucky. Maybe one more hit point. Guarded by goblins. They just don't make this easy. This is hard mode right here. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna just... 
just take my chances. Don't have a choice. Okay, um, let me take a look at how much a dagger is going to cost me. Well, what do you know? I can actually afford one. on it. Let me go back, because I think I might actually be wrong about those starter weapons. Pull up the elf again. I think I was thinking of magic user and not elf. Yeah, an elf may use any weapon. Well, what <laughs> But never let it be said that I ran away from a challenge because I did not run away from that challenge. I I found the gold. I got the dagger. Longsword, well. Yeah, and how much is the dagger? Like, I'm just... So let's clear that. Let's go with the longsword. Oh, can't afford. What do I have? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay. I get a club, though. Alright. Yeah, fine. Better than the magic wand. Still not great, but better than the magic wand. Uh, whoops, reset. Why? Because more coinage, that's why. Hmm. I like the odds better. how effective this club is actually going to be. Okay, not bad. Where else? 
else have I seen? Oh, I know exactly where I can get some more coinage. So as you can see, starting out with these Beck Me characters is a huge challenge. I recommend, if you can, going out with a friend, at least for your first three levels or so. Because that's the whole purpose of these builds anyway, just to get together with some friends and, you know, play the game. are hating on me right now because they're jerks. Small squalid cave entrances dot the ravine walls. These must be the caves of chaos where the cultists and their monster allies have made their base. Wow. Such empty. way and I find nothing. Okay. You know, I tried. How much, how much did I got? Um, one gold piece. Okay. That should get me a dagger, I believe, unless it was a one plat. You wouldn't be platinum for that, no way. I don't think. So yeah, I just recall. Everything will be cool. What? So the damage is actually better with a club? Well, then why would I even bother? Okay. 
don't think I can afford one, but I'll see. No. Probably be best if I went back out the same way I Just until I can get myself, let's see, a short bow or something. Um, or light bow. So here's the thing. Here's why I'm... I... People don't like the bow and arrow. They like the crossbow. But I'm like... I mean, why though? Like... I feel like you could create a good bow and arrow build. I why 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 does it have to be a crossbow? So I'm gonna see if I can do something with a short bow or long bow. So there's gotta be a way to make it awesome. There has to be. I, I mean, they're there. They're an option. And people, I've seen people with bow bow and arrow. They they play the game. They seem to like it. Like. There must be something to it. Right? I mean, or is that just crazy? <laughs> so that's my goal with this. Let's, let's do the short bow. I'm going to start with the short bow. Once I have the money. Always good to have gold. Oh, anyone out there know why they, they put deers and squirrels and foxes in the game? Like, you can kill them, but you can't take their meat or their fur, pelt, whatever. So, what's the point? Then? Why would you want to kill a defenseless little deer? What's what? What just make you feel like a big man or something? Kill a cute little animal. Small, squalid cave entrances dot the ravine walls. These must be the caves of chaos, where the cultists and the monster cultists Getting the potions. Okay. Uh, there's, I think, one more. 
tray or two more. No, there's none. Okay, there's none. Alright, um. I'm trying to think of any other area. There's gotta be. There's another area on the opposite end, but you gotta go through too many monsters to get to it, so that's out of the question. Um. That's the best place is where I've already been. speed this along. And you know, what I really like about these builds that I'm doing is it actually feels like old school Dungeons and Dragons, because you start out with nothing. And you gotta make your way through the game from nothing. It's, it's fantastic. For me, there's a tremendous feeling of satisfaction with that kind of a, um, I don't know, mindset, gameplay, whatever, I don't know, goal, whatever, whatever word the word I'm looking for is. Challenge? Maybe, maybe challenge is the word. I think it's challenge. That kind of a challenge. definitely feel accomplished. Anyway. into the kobold caves. Uh, just gonna cross my fingers that this works out. Um, if it don't, that's okay. We'll try and try again. I'm thinking that I'm a level one wizard. I've been in 
Several fights. I haven't died yet. That's if this was a tabletop game, I would be one badass level one wizard right now. Here's the real test. Can I make it through this quest without dying? Really wish I had a short bow or something. Oh. You slide ah. through the muck and refuse well. into a pool of stagnant swamp. It's just my dear daddy. Most of the kobolds scramble to defend their cave at the sight of you while one of their number scampers away. You've stopped the runner, and not a moment too soon. Who knows what else the kobold tribe might bring to bear against you. You spy a humongous rat on top of a pile of garbage. It shrieks at you, and its many vassals emerge from the shadows. Now that that king rat is dead, long live the new king, you. The first order of business might as well be to survey your domain. Just rest here a second. I might want to pull out uh, one, two, maybe. I actually can't decide because I'm... It's a little slow to cast the uh, fire, so maybe not a maybe not the best idea. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna keep the club for now. Get some tasty hands. Can't wear. The, well, actually, I'm an elf, so I can wear that. They can wear any armor, right? Armor. Yeah, an elf may wear any kind of armor and may use a shield. But I don't have proficiency with that armor. I can sell it though. I almost forgot the tasty hands. Thank you. 
finally get a weapon. An elderly kobold demands your attention, calling for the cessation of hostilities. The kobolds react to the news of their chief's death with what seems like relief. The elderly kobold offers you a reward for freeing her tribe from the tyrannical war chief. A secret door slides open in the common chamber. You've made a deal with the tribe. Strike down their leader to gain their support. According to the kobold crone, their chief has been behaving strangely ever since he brought the charm of evil Perfect. chaos to the cave. Let's go She's the short happy bow. to be rid of both the chief or and the vile short talisman. Bow. Either way, longbow will work too. Yes, composite short bow. Perfect. This will do more damage. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe the longbow is the better way to go. Now that I see. This does 1d6, and that does 1d8. You know what? Longbow it is. Bye, I need arrows. Perfect, and I can get me a hireling. I don't need any of that stuff, though. Maybe I'll look cooler with it on? No. No, I won't. Let's 
sell it. This is where I wasn't sure what to do. start with there. Uh, I'm going to go out and test the bow now since I finally have it. this gonna work started out. I ain't even worried about that right now. What I need to get is the uh, Mantle of Gentle Descent. Sometimes it hits okay, sometimes not. Um, okay.
thing I've noticed that really helps is going to these fountains. Sometimes you get a bonus to every hit. Sometimes not. Full strength. Well, not what I was hoping for, but. Okay. Monsters have built a small pen atop this hill, giving them a commanding view of the valley below. Hey, the mantle of gentle descent. Just what I was looking for. Isn't it wonderful when life just works out exactly the way you want it to? disappointed in this build. It's uh, working out very well. I, I was able... I, I haven't died once. Um, I handicapped myself at the beginning, but that's... <laughs> that's okay. I was... I, if, you, it, if I was just a wizard and not an elf, like just a magic user, just straight up magic user, I would not be able to use any of those starter weapons. So... Uh, something to keep in mind if you are thinking about being a magic user, want to get some friends together for sure to help you out. Not that you can't make it on your own. Like, look at this. I'm, I'm fine. I can make it. It just would be easier if I had some help as well. System. I might go ahead and use it anyway, but... Oh, yes. Absolutely this. What about that one? Um... I 
think that's much better. Okay. So, alright, we've accomplished some stuff. This is good. So I've got... Go back to my enhancements. This is definitely going to help out the long-range attacks. Um, this is absolutely helpful. This is this is directly related to the Beckme rule system, right? The basic expert companion master moral rule system. So that's definitely a good second uh, place to go. This one certainly helpful. I think I might go there once I fill this up. Get three out of three. And then getting a bonus on a chosen set of weapons isn't a bad idea. Uh, may go with that one third. So that's where I'm thinking about heading with the build. I'm going to do more on this uh, build later, but this is a good start. And anyone watching thinking about doing one of these builds at least knows if you're going to do an elf build what to expect when you start out and don't don't be like me and handicap yourself with the weapon choice that was oh man i i should have i should have looked at the book i didn't look at the book my ah uh, my bad okay so if you have any questions comments um if you want to see any future builds let me know uh, yeah thanks for watching and stay tuned for the hardcore stuff. I'm once the hardcore server co comes back up, I'm gonna see if I can do nightly streams on the for the hardcore. Uh, I don't know yet, but uh, have a good one.